Okay, everybody, we are just about halfway done with our class. So it goes by really fast. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. If you have any problems with any of the assignments, I know the phonetics and phonology stuff can be a little tricky. So don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. If you're not sure um, about any of your answers, you can send me a draft um, through email and then ask me if you're on the right track and I'll let you know. Do that before you submit the assignments because I'll see that before I actually look at your grades in the grade book. Okay, um, this week we are continuing on with the next two core areas of linguistics. So if you remember, um, those are gonna be morphology and syntax. And so what morphology is, is looking at um, meaning, the smallest pieces of meaning. So that's going to be individual words and then even smaller than that, pieces of meaning within words. So it's going to be things like prefixes, suffixes, um, roots within words. And then syntax, that's just another word for grammar, um, sentence structure, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and look at the assignments that we have for this week. There are seven all together, and I've got the first um, three are all about morphology. Those are all due on Wednesday, and then the syntax stuff is split up um, Friday. Um, there's two of them on Friday, and then the last two are on um, Sunday. So let's go ahead and take a look. You've got a um, quiz first to start off with. And that's about identifying morphemes within words. And then the next one is um, breaking down words. And then the last one on morphology is kind of a fun one. Um, and again, it's, um, I put it in a discussion so um, you can all see each other's answers. So what this is, is um, I'm asking you to try to come up with your own um, created word that you made up and you can read about it here. I do have an example that you can borrow, but it's more fun if you can make up your own. And you can just post it. You can reply to each other if you want, but it's not required to do that. Okay, then we get into the syntax part. And so um, in linguistics, they use this term lexical categories. That's just another um, term that means parts of speech. So I have um, a number of videos here. They're broken up into smaller pieces, kind of makes one whole video on this PowerPoint that I have about the different parts of speech. And here's the PowerPoint down here, and that's what the quiz is based on. And then there is a, um, another um, quiz on phrase structure rules. So you'll need um, the information from these two quizzes um, in order to complete the exercise. And this exercise is kind of a fun one if you like uh, word games. So what you have to do here is to read the little uh, story, this little made up story, and they have these kind of nonsense words that you've never heard before. And you have to try to figure out what the lexical category or the part of speech is for each one. You can do that based on the context, based on the function of what it's doing within the sentence. And so use what you know, um, use what you've learned, use the context, and then just give me the answer, okay? And you can go back to reviewing parts of speech, uh, reviewing phrase structure from these links. Th these just take you back to the quizzes. 
Okay. And then the very last thing is an actual discussion where we're going to be replying to each other. This has to do with um, something called prescriptive and descriptive grammar. And so this is a concept in linguistics, um, kind of the approach or view of uh, grammar that linguists have. And you can read all about it. Here um, I've got a video and a short uh, textbook chapter for you that you can read about. And I want you to just um, explain the concept, explain about it, and um, then kind of uh, tell us where you come down. Are you more of a uh, prescriptivist or a descriptivist, okay? And probably most people are a little of both in depending on the situation. So, you know, explain that. I explain the different contexts where you might be more of a prescriptivist or more of a descriptivist. And let's see if we can get a good conversation going. And then that takes us to the end of the week. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions or any problems with anything. And I will uh, be talking to you later. Okay, bye-bye.